بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما there are different types of attacks you generally see on the on the web access like mainly there are two types of attacks we have something called web based uh, security threats which are mostly related to web accessing the websites or even it can be email so so more on the email based basically like uh, th- there are diff- different like like phishing attacks or email spams so here initially will be more focused on the web based security web based threats we'll try to understand like there are different types of viruses or the malware programs or worms trojans botnets there are different types of uh, softwares or malicious softwares we call them as so technically we call them as malware now malware is a kind of software or a malicious uh, software code which is especially designed to damage uh, your data or disrupt your services or, or steal your information so basically these are the kind of uh, back end applications uh, which run automatically without your knowledge so generally we call them as uh, viruses or malwares generally so or even it can happen by downloading some kind of applications onto the network or onto the computer so which which typically uh, impact the applications or even sometimes it can uh, affect the complete network as well so we need to make sure that these uh, malwares uh, should not get downloaded or it should be restricted or should be monitored blocked and also there are some other issues like data leaking issues now data leaking relating to like uploading some kind of files like in the company network you don't want any of your employee to upload the files to his email accounts or maybe some kind of third party softwares like dropbox or mega upload this kind of attachments so we need to restrict that uploads to to ensure that the data is not leaked outside your company a uh, similar way it also relates to the email as well and also you want to ensure that your web security the employee productivity is also important because most of the employees may be uh, spending some most of the time on social networking sites you need to make sure that uh, the traffic towards the social networking site should be blocked or it should be restricted you, you also want to do that so even even that is something we want uh, to implement in in web security by restricting access to some of the uh, social networking or or the news webs news sites like that so even nowadays you can download a specific kind of malwares even some of the uh, valid websites now not only uh, there are websites which which contains the malicious codes even there are some uh, some of some of the trusted websites can also get compromised with with the security and may get install uh, some of the malwares when you are trying to access some of the uh, valid websites so even we have something like uh, dos attacks or den- denial of service attacks or distributed denial of service attacks so typically these kind of attacks uh, ensures that you know your website or a specific application you are hosting on the internet uh, it might not be accessible uh, maybe maybe you can take an example of some kind of online shopping where you have some attack on your server and your server is not accessible for the end users so so there are different types of web attacks in general uh, we have 